In this tutorial, you'll learn how to export cards from Dexterous to print with the Game Crafter. So let's set up our project first in the Game Crafter. You need to sign in here with the Game Crafter. Then under the Make tab at the top here, go to Games. We're going to create a new game. So we'll click this little Create Game here. So I'll just call this Test Game 2 if we made one test. All right. So I'm going to create this game. And then it's going to create um, essentially like a shell for this game. I'm going to click Add Custom Component. I want to make some poker cards here. So I'm going to type in Poker Deck. And that will bring up the kind of standard poker size, so 2.5 by 3.5 inches. So I'm going to click Add to Game. And that is going to add it to my game. And the really important thing to notice here is that if you look here at the back, the image dimensions that, that the Game Crafter is expecting here is 825 by 1125 pixels. You can also see that down here under stats, image size, 825 by 1125. So what I need to do is with that information, I need to go to Dexterous and set up this card component with bleed that will give me a card at that size. So if I open up the layout editor, and if I open up bleed and safe area, my desired height and desired width is 1125 by 825. So this will be different for different printers, but this is exactly what it is for the Game Crafter. And that is telling me here that if I apply this exact bleed, 3.179, I'm going to copy that. If I do a preview, by the way, it's going to show me a preview of what this will look like with bleed. If you haven't seen the bleed tutorial, go watch that. So I need to copy this number. Now I'm going to go out. Uh, if I if you haven't set up your card here for bleed, you'll want to do that. So for example, if you want this um, this banner to be on the edge of the card no matter what, then you'll have to do this and you might have to move some icons around, for example. So once you've set up the bleed, you're good to go and you're ready to export. So if I've done that, I can go back. The important thing there was just getting those dimensions, the bleed number there. So if I click export, export this component and under page setup here I will punch in that magic bleed number then I can hit export generate images and I want PNGs at 300 dpi yes I want card backs as well export so while I wait for that to export I'll head back here to the game crafter now just note that over here on the game crafter they want an image or multiple images for the back and then ones for the front as well when your cards are finished downloading, you can open up the backs folder. And if you have unique cards, then you can upload them all here. In my case, I'm only going to use the one back, so I can just literally grab any of these and drop it in here. It'll upload, and then it's going to tell me that it needs to be proofed. So that's just saying, hey, double check it. Look at, does it look all right? The red here is the bleed area, and it's, it's going to cut it here. So this is what the card will look like. Yes, I'm happy with that. I can approve that. And then it's time to upload my fronts. So I'm going to go back to my fronts. Here they are. These are actually mostly the same as well. But I'll just upload them all just to show you what it's like. So I can just dump them straight in here. Um, so these will upload. And you'll get the same opportunity here to approve these. Once you've approved all your cards there, you can just give this deck a name. So Gills test poker deck and it's telling me that I've got 18 cards in the deck so that looks good then you can proceed to buy this set of cards so you can just click on the little cart icon up here add to cart and it'll have this little pop up here do I want to view my cart yes I do and then you can just follow the prompts to have your deck of cards shipped to you so yeah that's how you export cards from Dexterous for the Game Crafter